I have a good woman I ain't good looking But I do some cooking I'm the old fat guy So use that oven If you want some loving Be like the old fat guy Like the old fat girl. Welcome to another edition of You Can Make It. Today I'm going to make a muffin. A muffin is a great thing to have around for breakfasts and snacks. The only problem is most people like a cakey kind of muffin with lots of fruit and chocolate chips in it. They're not so keen on the healthier brand muffins with a lot of fiber. Well, I'm going to make a muffin that uses oatmeal and still gives you a nice cakey result, but it's also got a lot of fiber, so it's healthier like the brand muffin and the family doesn't have to know that. I'm also putting some fruit in it. Now, the recipe calls for blueberries, but I happen to have hascaps, which are a berry that's hardy in my area, so I'll be using hascaps instead of blueberries. But I'm going to be making an oatmeal hascap muffin. Feel free for you to make an oatmeal blueberry muffin if you don't have any hascaps available. It will work wonderfully. So, let's get started with our first critical ingredient, copious quantities of wine taken internally. Put 25 milliliters or two tablespoons of lemon juice in the bottom of a clear one cup or 250 milliliter measure. Fill it to the one cup or 250 milliliter level with milk. Put one cup of oatmeal into a mixing bowl and pour the liquid onto the top and stir. Let it sit for one hour. Lightly beat two eggs. Add the eggs and one half cup or 125 milliliters of vegetable oil and two thirds cup or 150 milliliters of brown sugar to the oatmeal mixture and combine. Mix together one cup or 250 milliliters of all purpose flour, one teaspoon or five milliliters of baking powder, one half teaspoon or three milliliters of baking soda and a pinch of salt. Put that mixture into the oatmeal mixture and stir just until combined. Do not over stir. Fold in three quarters of a cup or 175 milliliters of blueberries or half cap. Distribute the batter between 12 muffin tins that have been sprayed with baking spray and then explain to me why baking trays come in 8 muffins per tray when most recipes make 12 muffins. Put the muffins in a preheated 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. 
Test them for doneness by putting a toothpick in the center and making sure it comes out clean. Remove them from the oven and let them sit on the counter for 10 minutes to cool in the pan. And Run a butter knife around the edge of the muffins and take them out onto a plate to complete the cooling process. I always like to have one warm because the butter just melts into it so nicely. Now that the muffins are done, comes the critical part. You have to taste it. They've got a great texture and a nice color. So let's take a bite in. Mmm. Just the right amount of sweet, really nice and moist. And the has caps or blueberries if you use them, do a nice sweet tart little touch to it. Mmm. This is a great muffin, and the best part is, you can make it. When dinner time gets in, you can make it. And your wife has made it clear. You can make it. It's your turn to cook, my dear. You can make it. You can make it. You have no need to fear. You can make it. You can make it. Make the dinner feature spouse bring peace into your house. You can make it. If you're lucky, she will say. You will make it. You will make it. And life will be okay. Life will be okay. You can make it.